We are to the point in hydroponics in the classroom where we have to decide if we want to purchase a kit or put together a kit. If you decide to purchase a kit, you need a deep water culture kit that has an aerator pump with tubing and a check valve, an air stone, net cups, and most come with Rockwell cubes for your seeding media, and some Lika pebbles to keep your seedling stable. Some come with propagating sponges, and some come with extra pH kits. If you are going through a purchased kit, make sure you have one that's big enough. This one, I, I reallocated it to my nursery tank because it has too many holes. And when you have a tank that has this many holes and this many plants, your plants will not receive enough nutrient. If you are purchasing a tote, to repurpose as a deep water culture tank with aeration. You will still need the air pump, tubing, check valve, air stone, net cups, <laughs> and you will need seeding media and seeding media stabilizers such as Lika pebbles. If you decide to repurpose a tub, you'll need a 10 gallon tub. It needs to be low profile. So it will be eight to nine inches in height. So that leaves enough room on your shelf. Keep your shelf measurements in mind. If each maturing plant needs three quarters of a gallon of nutrient to mature to a healthy plant, how many holes can we place in a tank where we're going to put six gallons? Hmm. I'll sit here and think about it with you. Did you use some math? I know I did. If you said no more than eight, you're right. And why just six gallons when it holds 10? Because your three inch net cups, they'll be hanging down below and the nutrient will be just above the bottom of the net cup. We have a tote that works. However, we're not through repurposing it. We need holes for our net cups. I know that some classrooms have used styrofoam instead of a tote lid, and this is a viable option, but not very sturdy, and it's really difficult to reuse and, and for over a period of time. So we're going to measure and mark where we want the net cup holes to be and where we want the aerator tubing hole to be. For that, we will need an adult who will have a three inch hole saw and a quarter inch drill. We want these net cups as far apart as possible so plants will receive enough light and so that the roots will be able to receive enough nutrient. Let's do some measuring to confirm. Got about six inches there, that's good. Six inches. Keep measuring and you're me remember you're measuring, here's geometry. <laughs> We're measuring from focus to focus. What's next? I'm going to do the tracing and I'm going to speed that up because you don't need to watch me trace every single one of the eight net cups. You may want to have a person holding the net cup while another person traces. And I used a dry erase marker so that if I don't like where it's placed, I can easily change it. That's it. We have all eight and they look evenly spaced. The adult who's helping you is going to need these items. They're going to need safety gloves, so make sure that they have them. They're going to need safety goggles because they're drilling on something that could bring back up particles. They will need a couple of pieces of cardboard. I drill on top of a cardboard piece so that it doesn't go all the way through to my surface. And then I'm going to need to have clamps to secure my lid so it doesn't move around. When you talk to the adult who will be helping you, give them this hint. When you're drilling on plastic, if they will start out drilling forward, and wait until that tip goes in and then switch to reverse, 
it is much easier to drill the hole. Here we go. Safety goggles, gloves, and I'm the adult who's helping. There's one more hole the adult will need to help you with. And that's why you needed a quarter inch drill bit. We're going to need a place for the tubing for aeration to go through the tank. You want it as close to the top as possible, but not blocking the handle. Congratulations, you repurposed what was a tote into a deep water culture tank that has a place for aeration, has a place for eight net cups, and you are well on your way as a hydroponic farmer. The best part, <laughs> it's yet to come. You're going to be able to eat the assessment, <laughs> your vegetables. Happy Hydroponics!